mm-hmm. and at, and we were at the Democratic convention um, at the time, and he was out there reporting for MTV, mm-hmm. and so we were in the press pit together, and I'm like, oh my god, and I'm, I'm like, God save the queen, she ain't no human being. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it was so exciting. I was just like, ah, he was really nice, but he's a scrawny little guy. Oh, yeah. oh he's tiny, tiny mm-hmm. little Brit. But the Sex Pistols, sorry, I had to have a moment there. Oh, no, that's um, just fine. Um, so they are actually going to be on, uh, they're going to be, the band's name and their album artwork is going to appear on a series of credit cards for a bank in <laughs> London. So, um, and it's actually um, Virgin Money. It's Sir Richard Branson. <gasps> so it's not exactly one of the more stuffy banks of no, London. No, no. I just, I'm just trying to envision, I mean, do, do you? pay for something before you trash it? I mean, exactly. I don't know. That's a good uh, question. <laughs> or <laughs> <to> staple it. <laughs> staple it, poke holes, pierce it. <laughs> I mean, it just, it just, it's just fascinating. But then you think about it. At one point, I remember, um, I remember reading a story when Microsoft came up with something and they wanted to use the Rolling Stones as uh, start me up for it. Oh, and, cool. and, and, and I guess they, the, the Stones got together and they came up with this obscenely high dollar amount that no one in their right mind would ever pay for the rights. And then Apple went, sure. And they're uh, like, well, okay. And because if you're willing to pay that much, so I'm, I have to admit what obscenely high number the Virgin Bank paid for this because there's no way. I mean, it had to be just so over the top that no sane person would ever look at that and go, no, yeah, sure, go ahead. Yeah. Like, no. I, <laughs> would, I would kill for one of these cards, though. I want mm-hmm. one. Will you See? go and get us each one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. And there's got to be an online application <laughs> right. somewhere. <Yeah. laughs> you can do anything on the internet. We're gonna, I'm going to look that up, Michael. Okay. Um, in fact, maybe we can put a link to, to apply if you're a Sex Pistols fan. <laughs> Um, but you know, um, the interesting, you know, Branson's Virgin Records signed the Sex Pickle- Pickles. pickles. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a vibrating Brandon. plastic pickle years ago. I don't know if it still exists, but there was a novelty vibrating pickle. I can tell you that. They were signed to Virgin <laughs> Records in 1977. So that's the time. Sex okay. Pickle. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to look up Sex Pickle. pickle. <laughs> there needs to be a song. I, there's got to be a parody song in there oh, somewhere. I, yeah, oh, my we'll God. We'll have to see if Weird Al did one because there's, there's a guy. needs to. Yeah. Yeah, if he has an M. Well, I, you know, he's probably tried, but I, I read several articles where he's saying, you know, it just can't be silly. There's got to be some art to it. I mean, this is why this oh, guy's yeah. as good as what oh, he does, because yeah. there's a lot, you know, he has to get permission to do it, and then he's got to come up with the right thing. And then, and then he goes, and then at the end of the day, it has to be good and funny. Yeah. 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 You know, oh. that. I no, love but it. But Sex Pickle, I think, would work. That okay. would work. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so Mindy Kaling. Big fan. I love her. She is. She I is just started awesome. watching. Oh, uh, it's with some of the stuff. And the I'm mini ju- project. Yeah, yeah, the mini projects. I started watching. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, a little late to the party on some things. Just started watching some of the Amy Schumer show, and I just, it, those two are just making me crack up. Oh yeah, she's. I mean, I haven't really actually even watched the show. I just know of her in general celebrity dumb, mm. and I love the the endorsements she's been getting. Her commercials are a scream, and, and she's oh, yeah, so we're, witty. Oh yeah, I, I, um, is that the one where she's Sinks, uh, Sinks is invisible? Is invisible. <laughs> uh, that's, <laughs> I love that. I love when she's walking through the store pounding the ice cream <laughs> yeah like, this is, oh god no she's great well she um has um she's got a, a new book coming out um and it's due in a couple months and um she makes a kind of an interesting comment about on-screen sex mm-hmm. and she's like yeah everybody's lying about it and i'm like <laughs> really <laughs> and what she wants to say is that um it is fun but actors don't talk about it for a couple of reasons. Number one, they don't want their significant others to be upset, which makes okay, yeah. perfect sense. Yes. You know, they want to say, oh, it's, you know, whatever. But she, she makes the comment. She says, you know, look, it's it's fun. It feels good. Um, and you've got these crew members that are watching and the voyeurism part of it's kind of fun. And at the end of the day, you wish there were more people. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I do understand that she's been uh, that she's quite the uh, 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 promiscuous person on her show, so she must have a lot of fun then smooching. <laughs> she she talks about her on sex uh, or on sex on screen boyfriend and how much fun it was to to shoot with Chris Messina. Um, but she said, you know, th- I guess there's a sort of silent understanding um, that we all keep our trap shut about the world's best job perk. So I thought that was funny coming from Mindy <laughs> P- Kaling. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and the thing is, is that really, if a guy was to say that, he would just be considered a, sl- you know, a scumbag. Uh-huh. You know, she says that she's bold. Yeah. I mean, so there's, I can see there's, the, there, the, that's where the, um, oh my God, where's the, where the, where the, uh, 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 oh, um, you're thinking, um. Now I can't think of it. I know what you're, <laughs> and I know what you're trying to say. Um, 
Oh, oh God. Don't look to me. I'm still trying to figure out what both of you are thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, yeah. Because it would just be, you know, it's like be reverse strange. discrimination, but that's yeah. not quite right. Yeah. That's but it's just, it just very funny because you know, I'm pretty sure that if uh, Matt Damon was to say that, they would just call him a horn dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know, I know, and it's 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 not fair. So I think that's really funny, and I just love it that she is like just breaking down doors and stereotypes right and left. And I'm just I couldn't be happier for her career. Good for her. <sighs> An interesting thing is happening out there among many. Um, oh, just I, one, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, package pageants is what I call it, and it's 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 beauty pageants for body parts, like sex organs and different things. Um, and these are becoming popular worldwide. Um, and Brooklyn, for example, um, just okay. So you actually found something that I haven't heard about. Uh, yeah. Oh, let's. Where, where's the tally board? Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One for Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I... Yeah. It's so they they had the smallest penis uh, contest, and the reason um, was because um, the, the the it's a a bar called the Kings County Saloon um, had a his business partner had um, a relationship a bad romantic experience with a guy who was too big so he thought it would be fun to give a shout out with the guy's smallest you know for the small guys Mm -hmm. so they they did this whole contest and and he says it's not about smallness but confident and hearts uh, confidence and hearts and guys who are proud to be who they are and this year's winning wiener belongs to a guy named the puzzle master (laughs) And he okay. did an altered version of Goldfinger to reflect his in- endowment. Oh. And um, he said, you know, this is voyeuristic and taboo, but it's a, it's a statement about equality. And I guess it's like taking off. So I guess there's stuff going on down in Brazil where they have, you know, rear end, hinder looking. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, f- the fanny is incredibly important. The buttocks. Oh, yes. And, yes. Oh, they, mm-hmm. they love that. But this one, guys, now comes back around to fantasy gifts business. There's a company called, do you guys know a company called Autoblow? Have you no, but I'd like to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, well, I'll try well, to well, get we, you introduced. We will ask Tara tomorrow. She, I mean, sometimes she does, but like I said, there are so many things that it just, you know, it just, it's overwhelming. It blows my mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is a company that makes a machine designed to perform artificial blowjobs. Okay. So they are holding a contest to find America's most beautiful vagina. Okay. And the reason they're doing this, they say, Colleen, is that a dirty little secret of the adult toy industry, I'm dying to see if you guys agree with this, is that the majority of vagina masturbators are supposedly molded from porn stars and sold as replica are in fact not, so they're, you know, fraudulent, and they're all, 75% of them are strikingly similar. Would you agree with that? Well, we've seen the, the um, for the folks that are the real top stars, I mean, we, there, there's video of them out there getting molded. Yeah. Okay. So it's going through there. Now, if you're buying a, 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 a $19 one that uh, ha- has sort of a name on it, you're like, mm, maybe. It's questionable. It's going through there. But are the high-end stars? No. When it yeah. comes to Fleshlights and other companies, I would say no. That's and that not question hundred. actually came up last weekend when we did this, this thing with Jessica Drake. And oh. she, she's like, no, I can assure you this is my vagina. I, you know, I molded it. They even give you, you know, sometimes you can go on and check out the video of them actually molding it. But I believe these stars are actually molding their junk so you can have the pleasure of doing them. Mm-hmm. It is a, legit, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, maybe that's the 25%. But this is funny. The Vagina Beauty Contest has 15 vulvas competing to win cash prizes of 5000 2500 and 1500 They will not get royalties. The, the three winning vaginas will be flown out to L.A. to get the 3D scan, which is what you're probably yeah. talking about. And um, he says that they are winning money a one-time payment for something that they were given it's not like they did anything it's what they were born with so he doesn't believe that royalties are warranted what do you think bullshit okay <laughs> yeah, they're gonna want some royalties. Right no no uh it's still it, it's like uh using um any, any model's face in a revlon ad yeah mm-hmm. they were given that you know but yeah she, they, they still you know they deserved you know uh deserve to get paid for it or mm-hmm. someone's voice they were you know given that to say yeah that bullshit yeah okay mm. all right but uh because i mean i think the um i mean the uh i think although i have to admit i think some of the places my, um years ago there might have been just a one-time payment for items but there is no way in the industry now that someone hasn't inked a deal for an upfront payment and the you know and the and then the box you know and then any of the images used mm-hmm. um their names being used the you know the product the whole thing is i mean you know uh and, and i'm sure that they've even uh they're inking like any future use too i mean because it's yeah. you know it's no way that 
um, folks that did Gilligan's Island would know that oh. 50 years later that they would be, you know, that their stuff would still be watched. Yeah. But there's a, you know, but everyone now knows that anything that you produce could live on for a very long time yeah. in, a, in a form that you can't even think of. Right. And That's it's, sure. it's Especially your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Immortalized. It is. It is. It's your vagina. Nobody else has that vagina. Yeah, your, so I would yeah, definitely want to Or your penis. Because we, penis. We, we have quite a number of, uh, of replica penises, we too. Do. And they all do quite... You know, I'll do quite well. When we and get they out. actually show you the molding their penises too. So there's no question. Sometimes the box is a little conce- deceiving. It's like, you know, I don't think this guy's is really this big. But then you look at it as like, maybe, maybe that's mm-hmm. him. But then they show you molding it and everything. So I really do believe that's they're them. They might emphasize it a little more, yeah. but it's, it's been molded from those stars. That's, see, I think it's, just, I'm fascinated with the fact that they actually put out video for verification purposes of this happening. But I suppose if you are bold enough to be able to willing to sell your vagina, you know, that you, who cares who watches how it exactly. happens? Exactly. And they're going to watch mm-hmm. you probably in porn because most most likely a porn star is doing these, you know, who wants to buy just any any Joe's penis, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. It's all about the right. fantasy. You know, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god, see, I have no judgment here, but it's like there's stuff that's so far beyond the, the normal oh, things yeah. that wow, okay. this is normal no, for yeah. us, and it, <laughs> same, same, yeah. I mean, it just it, it, it's no it's no different than their voice, or their face, or if someone was a hand model, or if someone had really good toes and was mm-hmm. doing being a shoe model, that's their you know, that's how they're making the living. They deserve to make a living for as long as that image is used. I, I, I agree, actually, mm-hmm. Colleen, I, I definitely do. Um, Reminds me once again, there's almost a Sex in the City episode for almost everything that we talk about. And remember the one when Charlotte had the foot perv at the shoe store? Do you remember that one? Vaguely. So, Hysterical. Yeah. So funny. Um, but yeah, fetish people also welcome here at the Great Northern Sex Cast. Yes. Um, okay, guys, we'll close out today on our last topic. I thought this was pretty interesting. <laughs> this isn't your grandpa's online calculator. There's all sorts of places that you can go to kind of figure out how you rank sexually. And not meaning how good you are at it, but rather more how prolific and how do you compare to the rest of society. So I thought this was um, pretty interesting. There's five different places that you can go uh, to find out if you are quote unquote normal. And what does that mean even? Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. But um, first of all, Slate has a new interactive sex partner calculator. Woo. It's oh, a little okay. more fun than mortgage interest rates or things like that. <laughs> Amortization. Yeah, but yeah, and, and you know, or BMI. Yeah, I'd rather <laughs> other things I'd rather. I think I'd rather. Yeah. So they they um they will uh try to tell you on Slate.com if you if the number of people that you've slept with is a lot or not. So you put in your age, gender, and the number of partners you've had since the age of eighteen, and you'll see how you quote unquote stack up. And um you know you, it's pretty short, and it lets you calculate your number. So that one's one. Slate.com. Mm-hmm. Um, now this one's weird. Um, I really don't get this. Compare yourself to a Harvard student. Okay. So this one, um, they did a survey at Harvard um, with the graduating seniors, and they found that 58% of Harvard seniors started their freshman year as a virgin because they were studying to get into Harvard, probably Mm -hmm. didn't have time to get laid. 21% uh, had sex for the first time as a freshman at Harvard. Okay. 24 had no sex while at Harvard. Now that's sad. That is, that sad. is really sad. Mm-hmm. I mean, God, I would think you'd need it. Um, but for the number of partners, 19% of men and 7% of women had 10 or more during college. That's because they had, you know, they finally got away from home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm going to go with that. That's not too much different nowadays. Cause I don't think people, I mean, we're, not that hooking up didn't happen before, mm-hmm. but I do think it's easier now. It is a lot Tinder easier. apps and, and stuff like that. Download an app. It tells you if one if somebody's right next door to you. You know, it's GPS located. It's like oh, there's. I mean, it right used to be so street. much work. I mean, you know, the, the old local papers had all those ads, <laughs> and you had to peruse them, and then you have then you to have email. Wait. I mean, it's nanoseconds now. Although I did read about something in or hear about something in an, uh, in I think Great Britain or something where you can actually rate the guys. And give it a hashtag, like hashtag paid for dinner or hashtag um, uh, didn't brush his teeth or hashtag really nothing wrong with him. Or, or, and you can get a star rating on this. Oh, my God. So it's almost like, you know, hot, hotels.com for yes. men. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not even hotels. It's like back in the day before even Internet. You know, they had these like parts of the beaches where you can go and hook up. You know, it's like truck stops and stuff. At least now it's like you can at least get a bio on these people before you actually go and hook up. <laughs> yeah, and, and the thing is, you like, can Google and, them. And, and it's honest. I mean, if someone says, I mean, and I, you know, I just want this. You're like, well, they're not lying to you. Right. It may not be something that you want or that you you approve from one way or another, but if it's two consenting adults, 
Now you just get to pick from a list. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, it's, but it's not. I, I mean, really.